thoughts on the session today? James, unfortunately, it was another negative session today. We did close down about 0.6 of a percent. And, of course, we did receive those negative leads from the U.S. overnight. I do think the market today was reflecting a lot of nervousness around about this uh, geopolitical concerns over in Iraq and the continuing tensions we are seeing. So, as a result, we did see most of the sectors trading in negative territory today. The only sectors that could hold up our market and did close in positive territory was that information technology sector up about point. 9% and that utility sector up about 0.1%. But really the worst performer on our market today was that energy space. It did close down 0.9%, followed by materials down around 0.8%. Materials, of course, yesterday was the worst performer on the market, so we really were continuing to see a further sell-off in a lot of those iron ore, <coughs> copper and gold stocks today. Another sector that was a negative performer was that property trust sector down around 0.8% and, of course, that financial sector and that really was being dragged lower by uh, that uh, Lend-Lease announcement. But overall, a pretty disappointing result, and I think it did reflect a lot of nervousness from investors. Mark, your thoughts on a potential sort of small correction, if you like, um, for global markets? James, I potentially think in the short term we could see a bit of a mid-year correction as we have done over each of the last four years and I certainly think uh, this crisis over in Iraq could, uh, could cause this correction but I do think we do often see a, a lot of these uh, Middle East tensions sort of flaring up and then settling back down again so I do think that if we do any, see any uh, mid-year correction it potentially could be quite mild again and overall we do think the broad uptrend uh, in shares is likely to continue upwards uh, as a result of those are favourable sort of um, underlying uh, fundamentals within the market uh, earnings are looking strong so our long-term outlook is that we will continue to see this uptrend but certainly in the short term we potentially could see a bit of a mid-year correction and we do also view that it, it, it would be a buying opportunity at that point. Well it's just on some of the, the corporate news Treasury wine estates uh, in the news today a couple of reasons why but interesting um, speculation on the one hand about more people looking at a potential uh, takeover. That's right, James. And I, I think we did see strength in the share price today as a result of a lot of that report this morning we received around that speculation that there is a lot of private equity firms interested in taking over the company. I also think we saw the stock performing positively today because uh, the company has indicated they remain fairly positive on the outlook for their earnings. So we as yet haven't received an earnings downgrade from the company during this confession season. So I certainly think as a result of both of those factors we did see Treasury Wine Estate are closing up about 5% and in fact it was the best performer on the ASX 200 today but as you say a, a lot of that speculation around uh, private equity interests I think uh, the, the stock is pricing in some of uh, a premium that takeover premium so potentially in the short term we can we might still see uh, a bit of positivity in this stock as a result of this uh, takeover speculation. We'll get it. I certainly 100% agree with Michael. It was a surprise today, this morning, when we did see this announcement coming out. We certainly think it was, thought it was very positive news and thought the, the market would react positively. So it has been uh, certainly a surprise. Uh, having a look at the outlook, however, uh, despite this weakness today, we do in fact remain very positive uh, on the outlook for Lend-Lease. We do think they have that very strong balance sheet and we do think that after today's announcement, their gearing is likely to increase... Uh, uh, sorry, reduce after it does look to uh, pay off some of that debt. Of course, it does have that $24 billion urban regeneration pipeline in place. And it also has uh, that, the major road projects, which we do think should deliver some growth in their engineering division. But overall, it was certainly uh, interesting today. It has been a very strong performer over the last year or so. It's up about 60%. So potentially uh, some profit taking in the stock today by investors. And of course, uh, investors were concerned about that uh, the, the outlook for, for that net profit after tax potentially being a one-off so it was a disappointment today.